Hello, it's time for another healthy long hair series video. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking to you about combing and brushing hair. Um, one thing that you want to make sure when you're combing and brushing long hair is that um, you start at the bottom and work your way up and you don't rip through any tangles. So um, that's one of the key things that I think I did wrong, aside from also combing and brushing with wet hair. Uh, I think it's okay to use a comb in wet hair and there you may be able to use a brush in, in wet hair depending on your hair type but for me that was too damaging to my hair and um, I ended up having really thin hair and I would always cut it back because it just was not nice as it grew longer because there was just hardly any of it. So um, anyway I learned about not ripping my hair out with combing and uh, so what I started to do I first I found, I, I'll talk to you about the different types of combs that I have. I have combs that are ca called uh, bone combs, but they're actually not, they're like a baked resin kind of, I'm, made, I'm not even sure what they're made of, but um, they have no seams. There are no seams to snag or to drag through my hair. Um, and this comb right here is a nice big detangling rake. I get, I get these combs from hairsense.com and I will link that below for you. Um, but this one I, I use quite a bit for detangling. Um, but the teeth are pretty far apart. So on my fine hair sometimes there's smaller tangles that this one misses. So this is really nice for general raking through. But I need something a little bit closer together so I have this one. And if I need it even closer together I have this one uh, for detangling. So as, as you comb your hair, I'll just take mine down for you so you can see. Um, as you comb your hair, you want to uh, always start at the bottom and work your way up. And my camera is up pretty high, so you're not going to be able to see. Let me see if I can stand on a chair here for you. There we go. So, just starting at the bottom, just working the way up, and if I see any or feel any um, any uh, snags or tangles, I'm supposed to stop and see. When I was when I first had when I was first growing my hair out, I didn't know that. I thought that I was just supposed to rip right through them, and I did. And <laughs> I had a lot of splits and a lot of breaks, and I had no idea why. And so I don't have any tangles in my hair because it's been up all day. Um, so it's pretty much tangle free as I'm combing it through with this. So I'm just going to double check with one of my finer tooth combs. How about this one? And just check it to make sure that I got all my tangles. And I think I did because it was, it was up all day. So it's not tangled. Um, so anyway, uh, that's the combs that I use. I have lots of different ones from HairSense just because um, I have a lot of family members and we always need, everybody needs to use mom's combs instead of using their own and uh, they all come to my room and use my stuff in my bathroom so I have a lot of different HairSense combs. Uh, I've got this one, I've got boys and I've got girls and I've got, uh, this one has a fuzz in it, I've um, got different, different kinds of combs rat tail comb, this rake, this one, this one, and I just got this one which I'm excited about because it has one of these things so I can divide my hair up easier, um, so that's nice. Um, but I've got a lot of different combs and they're all bone combs so they don't, they don't snag in my hair at all and I'm pretty happy with them because they're reasonably priced. So those are good. Um, as far as brushes go, um, I have basically tried, well, when I was younger and had shorter hair, I had the kind of paddle brush that had those little nubs on the ends, and I read that they were so bad for your hair and I could never understand why. Well, it's because when you're pulling them through your hair, as your hair gets longer, you're, you're, you have to lift the brush out of the hair when you're mid-stroke, and then those little nubs, um, they get stuck in your hair and they kind of snag on your hair as you're as you're going through your hair with it so they're really not good for your hair so I've tried two different kinds of brushes that I've been happy with um, for detangling 
Um, some people really like to use this as a t detangler, and for a while I was using it as a detangler and, as, and to help me with styling. This is a tangle teaser, and it's a pretty good brush. It doesn't have any of the little nubs, um, but for heavy detangling or for smaller little tiny knots that I have sometimes, this one I like to use it as a finishing detangler, not really as a start from scratch detangler because I feel that if there's a lot of um, a lot of tangles in your hair, sometimes it can kind of scrape over the tangles, and I don't know if that's really causing damage. Um, so I prefer to just use this as a finishing detangler or as a finishing brush to smooth out the top of my head or something like that. I know in previous videos you may have seen me use this just in my styling, but um, I've stopped doing that because I decided I was kind of worried about using it that way. Um, I don't use this in my hair when it's wet. Um, I don't do anything in my hair except for finger combing and maybe one of my hair scents rakes probably like I would use this one in my hair after it's uh, after it's semi dry. Okay, and then um, and same with the, going back to the tangle tang tangle teaser. You still want to use good brushing techniques. You want to start at the bottom and work your way slowly up and detangle a little bit at a time and then work your way all the way up to the top of the head. You don't want to work from the top down because that pulls all your tangles down and then you have a big matted mess at the bottom. So, um, okay, so as far as other brushes go, um, the only other brush that I've used with success and have enjoyed using is a boar bristle brush. This one has natural boar bristles in it. And let's see, it says it's brand hot and silky. I don't even know. Um, I got this at a drugstore, I'm sure. Um, or like at Walmart or someplace. I'm sure it was not someplace fancy or expensive or online that I had to buy this. So um, I've, it's, I've had it for a long time. And um, so again with this, this one is a finishing brush. It's supposed to pull down the uh, oils out of your the top of your head and bring them to the bottom where they are needed the most. You should not use this brush on wet hair. Um, and if your hair is tangly, you may not use this kind of a brush at all. Um, curly or, or wavy at all. You would not want to use this at all. So don't use this to detangle your hair. <laughs> it's not good for detangling. Um, it would cause a lot of damage just because of the way that it's built. So this is mainly just to make increased shine and to bring the oils to the to the ends of the hair. Oh, care of brushes and combs. So, care of brushes and combs you you may notice as you use especially this kind of a brush that you get these little fuzzies and these little gray fuzzy things in, in there and so what you want to do is um, use use a little bit of shampoo and then use a nail brush or a tooth, toothbrush if you have an old toothbrush, but I prefer to use a nail brush so that there's no chance of it accidentally getting used in somebody's mouth later on. Um, so I use a nail brush and I just scrub that thing with some shampoo and rinse it out. And then, I mean, that's after I've taken the hairs out. Of course, I remove the hair first, then I scrub this, and then I lay it to dry and it looks just as nice as new. So. That works, and that also works really well for my tangle teaser. I use the same technique. I remove the hair by using another comb, and sometimes you can brush th or comb through it this way. Um, and other times, sometimes you have a stubborn hair that doesn't want to come out, so you can just kind of pull it out one at a time by, with the edge of the comb instead of raking it across the entire thing. And so then I just use my nail brush with some shampoo, and I scrub it, and I rinse it, and then I let it sit to dry. And that keeps my brushes in good shape, and I do that, oh, roughly about once a week or every two weeks, and it seems to keep my brushes in good shape. As far as comb care, they really just um, don't need a whole lot of extra care, uh, except as my 16-year-old son just found out not long ago, you can't use them as saws. Incidentally, um, he, broke <laughs> he broke one of my nice combs. I had to replace it. Um, it was a, a rat tail comb like this, and he decided it would make a really good saw. And, uh, yeah, some of the teeth broke off. So, 
yeah, don't use them as a saw and you should be all right. So, um, I think, is there anything else that I needed to say about brushes and combs? I'm looking at my notes. I don't see anything else um, in that. Oh, but I do remember that I missed something in my hair washing video, so I will discuss that right now. Um, let me grab these down. I talked about um, stretching washes, and I didn't really talk about how you would stretch washes. If you have a lot of sweat, or if you're trying to make it last one more day before you have to wash, try a dry shampoo. I've tried Suave, which doesn't have a tint for dark hair, so Blondies might like this one, but it didn't really work as well for somebody who's brunette like me. Um, I've also tried Beyond the Zone Rock On Dry Shampoo. I got this at Sally's. It works pretty well. Um, it is a little bit darker, so it doesn't show as much as the Suave did. And then there's Batiste. Or is it Batiste Day? Anyhow, um, this one is also tinted for dark and deep brown. So that is also one that you might try. Um, and both of those can help to extend your wash time just a little bit longer if you need to make it another half of a day. For, but for me though, I don't like to use them more than one time because, and they usually only give me one more day. Um, if I use them more than one time, my hair starts feeling really gritty and my scalp is disgusting and so I don't like to use them more than once. So I just would use them one time to last one more half of a day or a full second day and then, or third day or whatever it is that I'm trying to get through one more day of or anyhow then I would go ahead and wash my hair like normal, whether it's the co-wash or the ZWC. Anyway, those are the things that I would use to help me stretch. Um, also really helpful after a workout. So, um, so sorry about that little side note. Mostly this was about hair brushes and combs, but um, I wanted to include that. Oh, and when you're using these, do use a brush like this, this kind of a brush, or maybe if you don't use that kind, you could use this. I've never tried it um, to help distribute the um, the dry shampoo and you just put it on your roots um, but don't put it right in the center part lift up the part and go underneath it so it doesn't look like you have a big white stripe down the middle of your head so um, yeah guess how I know that um, so anyway I hope that helps you and um, I'm gonna be coming out with another video soon on conditioning and I might split that up into two between regular conditioning and deep conditioning I'm not quite sure yet um, but I'll be coming out with another video soon on, on more healthy long hair techniques and, and this series of healthy long hair. So um, anyway, you have a good day and I will be linking everything to my previous healthy long hair video and we'll go from there. Alright, thanks a lot. You have a great day.